Follow all Moesir's news on his website, www.moesir's.com, and on his Facebook page. Hello and welcome to uh, Moesir for this new uh, video. I'm really happy to retrieve you on my YouTube channel after this amazing uh, TikTok Live Season 2 with this great Yamaha team and also after some weeks of holidays for me, I need it. And uh, we are coming back for a new series of videos. Most of them will be on the Yamaha YC. And I will do some over the part of the news of the question I can have on the Facebook group, uh, for example, uh, or on montage, on Modix, uh, on the CP, why not also on Camelot Pro or John Mela software. Uh, but um, you will see also uh, a new format, I will say, for this video, uh, more in line with the Tech Talk Live or more in line through uh, the masterclass I done uh, for users living in European Union. But before to go to the subject, to the topic of the day, um, I want to remind you, if you like the video, please click on the thumb uh, to say you have liked it. If you are 200, 300 to see the video and I have only uh, 10, uh, 10 likes, uh, I did not know uh, if I do not have dislike, if it's uh, good for you, if you like it, if you do not like it. So uh, if you like it, please uh, click on the thumb. If you are not followers of Moist Your YouTube channel, click on subscribe and click on the bell uh, to be informed when a new video is released. And please uh, comment, ask a question. Also, it's a real pleasure to read from you also. Now, like you know, uh, I can talk so much, uh, but my French accent is not uh, enough good for some of you. Uh, for the introduction video, I talk myself, but for the second part uh, of the video, you will see uh, Grace and Paul. Um, we uh, we, uh, we have better accent than me, of sure, and uh, they will comment uh, the video uh, for me. Uh, and I love hope you will like uh, them. So uh, I retrieve you on the end of the video. Hello, I'm Grace. Thank you, Joel, for this introduction. Perhaps you're going to think, really? A first new video on the Yamaha YC? There are already a lot of videos about YC, but not necessarily in Moasa way to deliver it. Joel want to start this video explaining to you a little bit, from where we come to have this 2021 Yamaha YC series. YC61 with waterfall keyboard, or 73 with the semi-weighted keyboard for keyboardists like Joel, or not earlier, and then for pianists, using triple sensor that we have on this wonderful stage keyboard that is the YC88. Let's see this with organ history. It starts with pipe organs in churches. And in 1820s years in France, Germany and United Kingdom, there is the development of harmonium. Harmonium is a bit in between pipe organs and electronic organ that we know a little better. Harmonium was already smaller in size than pipe organs, it always works with air, either there was an air tank storage inflated and or there was a foot pump system allowing to play on this reed organs. Let's come back to Yamaha. In 1887, Mr. Torakusa Yamaha, Yamaha founder, built his first harmonium. He wanted to develop music at home, a place where it was not necessarily obvious for everyone. Harmonium seems to be apparently a little easier in terms of space, and it was his idea to make music with keyboards at home with harmonium. Thank you, Grace. Let's see electronic organ development now. Arrival of electronics, with transistors and tubes lamp after 1920. First electronic instruments start to come including organs, in particular, in 1935. A famous brand begins his success. Names start by 1H, and I will not quote it for copyrights. You will understand well, of course, just like Rotary Cabin which a company. 
with her inventor name starting by 1L. This H brand begins to produce beautiful and large pieces of wood electronic organ with two keyboards and a pedal board compared to pipe organs or harmonium where it was necessary to pump air. We have there something modern, more adapted to this time area. It is very well developed for this brand, in particular in gospel churches on USA. In this churches there were also musicians, in particular from jazz and blues styles, who looked at this instrument and certainly thinking, it can bring us something new on stage. It is different from acoustic piano, and they were interested in this electronic organ, which continued its development along years, until even in rock music of course. What about Yamaha for electronic organs? Let's discover it with grace. Since our harmonium of 1887, it's in 1959 that first Yamaha electronic organ came out, it was called Electone D1, and it was a novelty. Why a novelty you can think? Compared to 1935 organs, it was a novelty because it was 100% electronic, it had no lamp, only electronic, transistors, capacitors, resistors. And that's was new for organs. You see it on screen with two keyboards and pedal board. So, it's fine in a gospel church, piano bars, pubs, theater stages, concert halls, but as soon as you want to go on a touring stage, with an organ of this size, and the famous rotary cabin that accompanies it, you need very good roadies. And ten years later, Yamaha released the first stage organ in 1969. It was YC10 that you see on screen, and you clearly see, it was red. Red is not famous Scandinavian brand prerogative. Yamaha already made red organs 14 years before them to be precise. YC-10 was also developed in ivory and black color. In 1970 there was YC-20 and YC-30 release with also a blue color choice and on 72 73rds years, YC-25D and 45D comes. YD. D was for dual because they had two keyboards, upper and lower. It was more practical for stage and also at home for young musicians who want to learn how to play organ. Story could have continued for YC, but 1974 is a turning point for Yamaha. The first Yamaha synthesizer comes out. It was the SY1, and from there, we are going to say goodbye to YC name, and we are not going to see this name anymore for a very, very long time. Electones continued their evolution, we had of course Mythic GX1 also that had 35 different sound engines, it was an orchestra himself. There were other Electones organ released all along years. Actually, we often see Electone videos, especially from Japan, with famous white amazing Yamaha organs. We had to wait until 2014, so 40 years, to see Reface series arrival with Reface YC which was red. A little nod or tribute to original YC10, which was therefore, the first Yamaha organ keyboard easily portable. Then we had to wait another six years. Winter NAM 2020 YC61 release. Winter NAM 2021, YC becomes a series since we have 73 to 88 models, which are added to the 61. Here you have a good overview of organs history in general, and also more in connection with Yamaha of course. Thank you, Grace. So now we are going to see the two main organ type sounds that we have on our YC series. So just to clarify, if there are some of you who don't know yet YC series, who are discovering YC 61, 73, 88 models, they differ by size and weight, notes number. The control panel and sounds are the same. There are some differences in outputs and sustain pedal is not delivered with YC61. I'm not going to go into details on this video. We're going to talk about sound technologies that are used instead. First technology is VCM. That means virtual circuitry modeling. It's very well known from Yamaha Sense 01V Mixer. It's vintage effects modeling like phaser, flanger, equalizer, vintage compressors. You can find it in many Yamaha mixers now. And you also found it on Motif XS and NXF, Montage and MODX, and now on Yamaha YC. For Yamaha sound modeling technologies, there's VL and FM. But for VCM, it's the first time for making organ waveform as sound modeling. It's not sample reading as it was on Reface YC for example or Montage, MODX 
or CP series. So we're using VCM modeling for the H-type sounds. I think that H you will understand what it emulates, and I'm not going to draw you a picture. We have three H-type sounds in VCM modeling. What I'm going to explain you here are basic indications. You can do as you like, of course. Nevertheless, in the basic idea of modeling, H1 sound is rather an organ sound as if you were in a trio playing, like organ, double bass and drums. And where organ is really in front, it's the lead, the main instrument of this trio. In this context, H1 is a very good choice if you want to play this type of song to make you listen to this sound. I took the first live set. It's jazz lead. I'm just going to put the upper and the lower. Activate the speaker amp for the rotary. Let's listen to this first demo driven by my MODX Audition and MIDI connection. It was the H1 to change H sound, it's this button. We turn, and we are going to pass to H2. Obviously for my part, I choose one other live set. A live set is all voice and settings configuration that we do here on control panel, on screen in some submenu that we can have, but today, we focus on organ sounds. We will see key on key B sections later. Do not worry, I change live set page here, I choose 2-2, two -two. we have a H2 sound, I put upper and lower. I make sure we have rotary, for the little demo I prepared some other things. H2 sound corresponds to what in terms of modeling, H2 is more in the mix. Organ is not necessarily the main instrument of band, there can have guitars, RD, WR, brass section, why not a clavinet, etc etc. So it's a good choice if you are in this type of configuration. See you after this little demo. Now we're going to go to H3. Select it either via the selector if you want to test or for my example. I'm going to page 4. Live set 4 1. Uses H3 organ, which is rock organ emulation. There's a lot more mid range and treble. So they bring a little more in this area. It is more present, more dynamic. As pause sec equals to E pause, I activate upper and lower. You see that rotary here is not activated because here, we were on a basic effect in this live set. A crunch effect. I activate the rotary A and let's hear this small demo. There we have it. We have gone through the H-type sounds. Also, you heard rotary effect when I turn it on and off during music demo. Let's see Grace explaining second organ sound technology used on YC. Yes, Paul. After VCM, there is FM used on YC. It's mean, frequency modulation, even FMX since we are on same FM base as the one used on Montage or Mod X with A operators. When we go to FM organs, you will notice right away that for this ninth drawbars, there is nothing displayed, this is normal, we use 8 operators, so the first 8 drawbars are used, Ninth is not used. I am telling this to you because, if you try on store, 
Nothing is displayed on this drawbar, it is not a failure, that is how it works. Don't worry about FM on YC, it's not a montage, it's not a mod X, there is real FM engine on YC, but you don't have to go and look at algorithm, feedback, skirt settings, so all specific settings used on FMX. It's simplified and with drawbars, you're going to modulate your sound according to one of the three selections F1, F2, or F3. In these FM emulations purpose to you, first one is F1, you have to know that FM are sine waves, so it's perfect for an organ sound emulation. Especially on this one, I know what algorithm is used, it's the one, all carriers are on the same line, it doesn't have any modulators on top carriers, so here, we really have basic sine waveforms like vintage organs. Each drawbars have been set to match vintage organ drawbars registers. We will tell you a little bit more with details about drawbars on second video we will done. I'm on live set 4 to 1, it's not a right choice, I have to go to 4 to 3, I activate upper and lower, I make sure I have my speaker amp section activated on the rotary, and let's ear F1 demo. Now I select live set 4-4, I can't tell you which algorithm is used, but what I can tell you, is that F2 emulates British transistor organs. I won't tell you what brand for copyrights. Famous British organs are not so big in number, so I think that you will find what it is about. Let's listen British transistor organ emulation demo, I set my upper and lower and a rotary speaker. That's it for F2, then for the last one, I'm going on sound that I chose, live set 2 to 4, this one is a good one, it's called Italian organ, F3 is an emulation of very well known Italian vintage organ brand sound. I don't have a rotary because it's on an amplification, you don't necessarily have to choose a rotary, but for this little demo, I'm going to choose one of the two VCM rotary effects. We went through all organ modeling sound types we had, and what they corresponded to. Of course there's a lot to explore in organs, we'll see this in other videos, Joel don't want to make a too long format, and this video is already a bit longer with organs history. Although the second one about drawbars, believe me, there is a lot to say about with some basics about organ in general to know. Let's see this in next Moasa video. Hi, this is the video ending. I hope you really like it. In this new content, uh, I try to add some other things, not only uh, technical information, but uh, some history. And I will try to do some kind things, a li little fun, I will say, uh, like that uh, on all uh, the video to come. So uh, I hope you have liked it. And I say you bye. See you for the next video about the drawbars of the Yamaha YC. Mosier, Yamaha Music Europe and Music France partner, purpose you its personal master class service, available in French or English, for all users living in European Union. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced user, each session conducted one-on-one -on -one through Zoom, allows you to progress quickly on subjects you have chosen with a unique pedagogy, giving you access to the best Mosier practical tips. Use all potential of your montage, MODX, YC series, CP73 or 88, Audio Modeling Camelot Pro or John Mela software. Book your place now for your Moasers personal masterclass.
You can directly request an appointment on available slots in Mosier Facebook page services tab or by email at mosier at orange.fr and do not forget. If you like this video, click on the blue thumb, click on subscribe to follow Mosier YouTube channel news and click on bell to be informed when a new video is released. Comment or ask questions too. Thank you for watching, see you soon.